What is going on, guys? I just want to do a little video about this kiosk that I got um, and that I ended up putting back together and cleaning it up real nicely. This is the Sega Genesis Kids Pace kiosk. These kiosks were located in um, dentist offices, doctor's offices, places like that. These are made for businesses by a company called Kidspace. Um, and they did used to come with the DS16 switcher uh, that used to be inside here. And then this would be the button where you would switch the games. It would have six games plugged into it. I'm currently on the hunt for DS16. Um, so if anybody's watching this happens to know where there is one, just hit me up and let me know. Um, either way, um, this so this was put back together, cleaned up, and uh, you can still see that there's some some white marks on here from where I was wiping it down and trying to clean it up. You know, this probably had 30 years of dust inside it. Um, the marquee light was not attached. The original lights were inside, but they did not work. Um, I did get new tubes, um, but those tubes did not, when I replaced it with the tubes, the fixtures did not work. So I removed the fixtures and I put in new LED lights, which were under cabinet lights for kitchens. And then I popped open the Sega Genesis and I cleaned that up really good on the inside, gave it a good scrub down. The Sega Genesis did come with it, um, and so did Sonic and a handful of other games. Uh, the controllers are in good shape, pretty good shape at least. Uh, the second player controller though does need to be replaced. Um, the directional pad buttons up and down does not work. The A button doesn't work, the start button does. Player one seems to work just fine. Seems to be a little bit of a lag though on the button A, but that just could be how Sega was. And I am going to find a new poster for the front. Um, that is an odd shape. Uh, that is 16 across by 19 down. Um, so that's gonna be interesting to find a, um, a poster that's going to fit that. But this thing actually isn't even that heavy. Uh, the top and the bottom pieces come apart. Um, it disconnects from the top, so you don't you can remove it from the base and carry it easily. There's four bolts that go on the inside. Uh, it's hard to see, but it did come with the original blue plexi. So I cleaned up the plexi as best as I could, attached new sticky stuff to it, and popped it on the back so that I can get that effect from it. Um, I did replace the power strip that was inside it too. The power strip's got a new power strip inside it, and then this TV is the original Samsung TV that came with it. It's a 13 inch Samsung TV. I do need to replace this button that was right here so that I can turn the TV on because the TV doesn't automatically turn on when you turn the power on from the switch. So there you have it. So the backstory on this, this came from Jeanette, Pennsylvania, uh, which is about four hours south of me. I had it shipped here to Buffalo, New York. Um, this was located in a dentist's office down in Jeanette, Pennsylvania. Uh, when that dentist office closed numerous years ago, um, the owner gave it to somebody, and that person had it for years. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that they use it, but they had it for years. And then that person gave it to their friend um, earlier in 2022, and he just kind of left it in his garage. He didn't do much with it at all, he said. Um, he didn't have any interest in it. He just kind of took it, and then he had no place to put it. So then he put it up for sale, and um, I messaged the guy, and he gave me a good price on it. I couldn't pass it up, and then he was willing to work with a shipping company. So we got that shipped off and good to go. So this is it. This is the Sega Genesis kiosk. It's in great condition. Absolutely great condition. Especially for the year that it is and how old it is, this thing is absolutely fantastic. Great condition, no, barely any dents, barely any scratches. There is zero rust on it, period. The TV is working perfectly. A uh, little static on it from the uh, from the RF adapter, but that's about it. Um, otherwise, thanks so much for watching, um, and stay tuned for more, man.